This video is sponsored by Direct Mobiles. You can check out their deals at directmobiles.co.uk. Welcome to BTech. Honor have just launched their Honor Watch Magic 2 and the other day I was invited to their press briefing where they showed off their new generation of the fitness smartwatch. Now I know what you're thinking, this one looks suspiciously familiar and it does almost look exactly the same as the Huawei Watch GT2 which I reviewed not too long ago but there are some differences to the software. Well at the moment at least there is a larger selection of watch faces with the Honor version of this device which is strange right? You've got all the watch faces from the Watch GT2 along with another selection from Honor. So this is gonna be a fairly easy thing for me to review as I've done it pretty much once before already, but I don't mind doing it again. The Watch GT2 is a great smartwatch, so I'm expecting the Honor Watch Magic 2 to be just as good. But I don't want the Huawei Watch GT2 to steal its thunder too much. I will try to approach it from an unbiased standpoint. You see, despite the Watch GT2 not having as much functionality as competing smartwatches, for example, you can't really install any apps. And although you will get all of your notifications, you might not get the whole message and there's actually not really a way to reply to those messages. But despite those shortcomings, I really like the Huawei Watch GT2. And maybe part of the reason is that it doesn't have too much functionality. It gives me the information that I want and it does it in a form that is more like a regular watch. It's not too big and heavy. And in fact, it's probably the lightest smartwatch that I've come across. The Honor Watch Magic 2 uses the same hardware with a very bright OLED display that actually, if it was scaled up to the size of a phone, would have a higher resolution than Full HD+. It uses the same chip as the Huawei, the newly developed A1 dual core processor, an extremely power efficient chip designed specifically for wearables. And it gives these devices a battery life of up to two weeks, which isn't an exaggerated figure in my experience. And is quite possibly the best thing about this watch. Most of the competition will only give you two to three days of battery life. Not having to worry about charging it all of the time goes some way to making it feel more like a normal watch. And it's definitely a big plus point for me. On the fitness side of things, it does really well, giving you accurate heart rate monitoring, a selection of 14 different fitness modes, stress and sleep tracking, as well as an AI personal trainer. There is a microphone and a speaker fitted inside the watch, which actually doesn't sound too bad. It allows you to listen to music that you've uploaded to the watch, as well as take and make phone calls. The AI personal trainer will talk to you and encourage you to keep going with your workout as you reach certain milestones. Start the workout. It will also read out your current heart rate, stress levels, and blood oxygen saturation levels. To pair to your phone, you will need to download the Huawei Health app, where you can get a more detailed breakdown of your workout and workout history, as well as it suggesting different fitness regimes for you. Design-wise, it's almost identical to Huawei's offering with the front glass that forms part of the bezel, so it gives the appearance of a more edge-to-edge -edge display. The watch strap itself is slightly different, however, and it doesn't have the logo pressed into it, although you will find a little logo on the buckle. But you can easily get replacement straps for this smartwatch, giving you plenty of scope to customize the look to suit you. It is available in two sizes, with one seemingly being aimed at women, both of its design and with the watch faces. Although I do wish that they would just share those watch faces across both versions, as I do think they're both quite unisex. Honor being a subsidiary of Huawei and a brand that's aimed at younger people means that the Honor Watch Magic 2 will be more affordable than the Huawei device when it does come out. At the moment, Honor haven't given details of availability or pricing just yet, but as soon as they do, I will update it in the description below. So if you are the kind of person who is not worried about brands, then it kind of seems like a no brainer as to which one to go for. Essentially, they're exactly the same device. The only difference really is the quality of the strap, but for 10 or 15 quid, you can swap that out for one that you want. Plus you get a larger and arguably better selection of watch faces with the Honor. If you're into fitness, then this device will help you stay motivated with your fitness regime, providing you with real insight into the effectiveness of your workout and of your lifestyle on your overall health. I find the sleep tracking feature really interesting. It monitors your sleep pattern as well as what types of sleep you'll get. So it knows when you're just in a light sleep or whether you're in deep sleep or even if you're in REM sleep. It collects all this data and gives you a breakdown of your sleep overnight and also gives you suggestions on how you can improve the quality of your sleep, which in turn will help you to produce a more effective workout. Even if you don't really care about fitness and you just want a nice affordable smartwatch, then this is going to be a good buy. It's the dependability of the battery that does it for me. I went on a trip for four days the other day and when I left the UK, I had 85% battery. When I returned, I had 25% battery. Now you might not say that's not two weeks of battery life, but if you use the screensaver function, then battery life is cut in half. The screensaver gives you a choice between an analog or a digital clock face. And I really don't like either of them, so I usually keep the screensaver off. 
It'd be nice if they gave us a bigger selection of screensavers and watch faces for that matter. You can keep the main display on for periods of time as well, although having to display the step counter as well as the heart rate monitor and whatever else it might have to do, well, it does drain a lot more power. So it only allows you to do it between five and 20 minutes. Overall, this really is a great bit of kit, although I really wish they could have just tweaked the design even just slightly, just to separate it from the mother brand. But you really shouldn't let that put you off, especially if you're looking for a good quality fitness smartwatch. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. I'll leave a link to the Honor Watch Magic 2 in the description below. And before I go, I want to tell you about the Direct Mobile's website, which is a fantastic place to go if you need a new phone. Search and compare all of the available UK deals with all of the UK networks, all on one website. Plus, they have over 24 years of award-winning customer service, so you're definitely in good hands. You can find the link in the video description below, or you can search directmobiles.co.uk. Okay, thank you for watching. You can follow me on social media and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more BTEC. Thanks for watching. My name's David, this is BTEC.